Yeah. So this is question number five B from twenty second March paper. Okay. So in that this is given question and we need to divide this into 12 parts. So as you can see, this is diameter 65. So I have divided into 12 parts. You draw lines and this is equal to pi D or 2 pi R. Circumference of the circle is how much? 2 pi R. So 2 into 22 by 7 into 32.5 because it is 65. So I will get 204, roughly 204. Okay, so I will take 204. I will divide into 12 parts and I will draw lines. Now, let's take this line as A, right? This is A dash. This is A. So, A will come here. This is B. So, B is coming here, right? This is B dash. So, this is B. So, this point will come here. Same way C. C will come here. D. D will come here. So, that way you will get all these points. Same with the upper thing also. If you see here also there is one point that is this this point b is over here so that we are getting it over here point c which is over here that we are getting it over here point d you get we are getting it over here so this over here point e right this way you will also get all these points this you can join with freehand or french curve right so i guess Aditya Nag, he wanted to check this answer. So this is the answer. I hope Aditya, you understood this, right? This is how it will come. Any, any, any question, anyone? Yes. Yeah, this was actually behind this question. No? So I forgot to do this. It was behind. So this is the development of a pipe where top view may, there won't be hatching or anything. It's just corresponding points you have to take. So this point will come here. This point will come here. This lower point is here, right? So this way you will get curve like this. Okay, I guess. Uh, so, we'll, so we'll start with the revision. So what I'll do, I will explain you all the topics, ka important points. Now, since you have appeared for two papers, so you will have some idea how to go about paper and where you made errors. So we, so we will, we will try and do that only. We will try and uh, write all the points that in which area you should be paying more attention, right? So I guess all of you are done with this. We'll start with the. I have a question in paper one. Okay. Uh, Naman, can you ask me afterwards once I'm done with the presentation? Whatever I have to explain, then we can stay back and you can ask me. Okay. So first is scales. Right. So in scales, first very important thing is presentation. What do you mean by presentation is very important? Those guidelines are very important. Right? Remember that. Those guidelines are very, very, very important. So make sure that you draw guidelines and in that you write given data. So whatever data they have given. Right? Let's say maximum length. And you have to write everything in guideline. Got it? Drawing length, actual length whatever is given that 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 you have to write first then you have to write formula that length of scale you have to write full see i'm not writing entire stuff but i'm just telling you that you should write in proper guideline then short form and then you should continue rf into ml rf we have already written representative fraction so that way so once you should write full form and then you should write short form so this presentation is very, very important, right? After getting the answer, let's say if you have 15 centimeter as answer, you draw 15 centimeter and let's say it is a plane scale. So we take height 5 millimeter. Now this height can be 5, 10, 12, whatever you want, 6, right? So I'm taking 5. So in plane scale, we take height 5 
and in diagonal scale we take height 15 centimeter 50 centimeter you got it 50 yeah 50 millimeter not the same centimeter so it is 5 centimeter now you heard it is 5 millimeter you heard it is 50 millimeter right then this division let's say if i want to divide this 15 into three parts one two three you have to show this method this method will carry one mark so make sure you show this construction then you have to divide the first block into 10 parts so you show that also into 10 parts got it so this is very important then writing this 0 1 2 is very important writing meter metre meter decimeter right then writing rf so it's very important to write units and rf All of you got this. And one more thing. Here you have to be very uh I think this is working. Yeah. Here you have to show dimensions, right? So let's say if it's a diagonal scale and there is some dimension. So you have to show that dimension. You have to write outside that A B is equal to 3.05 meter. Just randomly, I'm just saying this is. 3.55 meter so i'll write it is 3.55 meter right and using this if you are drawing something if you're drawing a triangle you take this distance you cut over here and you draw a triangle but then you have to show 3.55 meter this is important you have to show this dimension right so in scale, presentation is important, labeling is important, meter, decimeter, RF, all these things are important. This division, this division methods is important. Don't do direct, even if it is directly cut, but don't do direct division. And uh, whatever dimensions are there, you have to show it over there. And if you're drawing it outside, so draw a line, take this distance, cut on it, cut. And here also you show this dimension, 3.55 meter. Right? All of you understood the scale. This is very important from the presentation point of view. Make sure uh, it should be very neat and clean. And, and a lot of people have asked me about the timing, how much time they should devote per question. Right? So I would say roughly what you can do that you try and finish your section A in one and a half hour and section B in one and a half hour. So you have here 30 minutes each, 30, 30, 30 minutes, right? So section A per question, you, you should devote 30, 30, 30 and section B, you should devote 45, 45 minutes. So this should be your target when you attempt your paper in terms of timing, right? So I've told you about solids. Now we'll do the next part. That is geometry. What is important in geometry? First is construction line. Yeah, remember, you are not supposed to erase any construction lines. You don't have to erase any construction lines. So maintain whatever lines we have. Just maintain those construction lines. Then you stick to the method, follow method. Whatever method is asked, you try and do that method and show dimension. Dimensions are very important. And remember in one thing, geometry, accuracy matters a lot. But if it is not coming, if you have tried once, twice, thrice, then it's okay. They won't cut that many marks. But unnecessary, see what, what, what happens. Let, let's say if I'm drawing something, they have asked me to draw Pentagon by XYZ method and I have done it by different method, right? And I have a very less time. So instead of erasing this, why don't you draw that Pentagon which you know, correct one, and just leave it and leave it to examiner which one he wants to check. 
what i have seen people doing it if if they do something wrong then they spend lot of time erasing it so this is a time waste so don't do this instead of this you draw it again and this you leave it as it is don't do cross ye wo kuch bhi mat karo examiner will take whichever he will feel the whichever he will feel where he uh, where he can give you maximum marks he will give you so don't worry about it otherwise lot lot of people do this arrow omit please omit all those things don't do it right if you are done with the correct one so just put a tick on it finish don't do cross and on so he will understand that you him to you want him to check this question this this answer so from that point of view uh, just make sure that you uh, you don't waste time in erasing if you if you if you do something wrong then let it be don't don't worry about it one more thing in exam just in case if you have any sum and dimension is missing some dimension is missing so you assume it and write your assumption that i am assuming so and so and then i am solving this sum that this is very important key i'll just make a note of it so in the end i can revise once again all these points first first how much time i should divide how much time and assume okay after that so so in geometry we need to pay only that uh, this much uh, in the sense uh, we we need to pay on dimension matlab if i'm drawing pentagon then i need to show dimension it's very important everywhere whatever you're drawing dimension is must unless and until they specify that do not insert any dimension that time you don't insert dimension otherwise you have to give dimensions then we have machine drawing so in machine drawing it's very important to see whether scale is given or no 1 is to 2 or 2 is to 1 or 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 matlab same we have to use the same so 99.99% it is 1 is to 1 only if you have seen to, uh, in uh, today's paper i have asked you half scale so all dimensions will be half right but angle won't be into half angle will remain as it is so that you need to keep in mind then in this also dimensions are very important if they say do not insert any dimension don't insert dimension but if they don't say give all dimensions right if there is no instruction do all dimensions then you show all construction line show all construction in the sense let let's say if you have this kind of a thing this is internal this is this is internal this is external so what you do you cut arc arc and you draw right so you have to show this arc for internal also you have to show this arc you can't erase it so just make sure show all construction lines all of you got this yeah and so yeah and and you have to show all center lines also all center lines and axis line whatever is given draw ditto same hmm? then we'll see engineering curves so what we have to do in engineering curves important thing is you should know the method whether it is ellipse or parabola so you will read quick question properly and which method they are asking you it's not like they have asked you arcs of circle method and you are doing oblong oblong method don't 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 do that and after completing ellipse you have to draw guideline and you have to write ellipse by this method and now remember in td whatever you write you have to draw guideline and you have to write even your name plate in exam you have to write your number uid number right sheet number subject whatever you're writing you're writing guideline you draw a box and from school you you get the paper with the stamp so avoid it say are you you want without stamp paper you know stamp is not good and you show your 
expertise like you know you just it will take two minutes it won't take much time just draw any any length name plate write your name uid like this on the right hand side corner or top side whatever you like okay so in this also uh, in engineering course dimensions are important right use correct method construction lines are important see in entire td paper constructions are very important so you're not supposed to erase any construction right and division wise let's say if you have a parabola by a rectangle method so here i'll divide into five parts here i will divide into five parts minimum you do five parts okay it's a request any division you do minimum five parts if you do more than five that that is good because we have to do here and here both we have to do five five so just check whether you can do six six seven seven eight eight whatever you feel like but i would like to say okay, minimum you do five parts hmm? in any method of engineering curves okay this you should keep in mind then then uh, oblique view so what what is important in oblique view box is important they should be able to see your box it should be light but it should be visible origin is visible and this receding axis now see an exam they can ask you 45 30 60 any angle if they don't mention you take 45 degree but if they mention 30 degree then you have to draw by 30 degree if they mention 60 degree you have to draw by 60 degree so that you have to keep in mind and box is important now after that always remember i'm sure you have seen many sums this sum is there in our book sum number three where I have given you this side view, this is front view. So remember, the view which has circle, it can't be side view. So this view will become front view and this view will become side view. So draw it accordingly. So then you have to draw and then origin I'm taking it over here because this side view will fit here. If, why I'm drawing this? So you will know. This is there in our book, sum number three. Right? So this I'm doing it. Why? Because the view which has circle will be always front view. So this you should keep in mind. This is very important thing in oblique. So box is important. Origin is important. Receding angle is important. And ha length, width and height. You, sh you should be able to show length, width and height like this or length width and height like this always remember in iso and in oblique show length width and height okay whether they have asked you or no that's a different story and here you have to write the receding angle now um, so this is oblique now if i doing iso so in iso also same we have to draw a box Box is important, O is important, 30, 30 degrees is important. This much is must. This will give you almost six marks out of 26. Right? So box, origin, this, and writing length, width, and height is very, very important. You have to write length is how much, width is how much, height is how much, or you show dimension. If you, if you don't want to write, then you show dimension like this, three dimensions. That is fair. That is good enough. Now. In ISO, there is ISO scale also. Whatever. This, they won't ask you. 99.99% .99 they won't ask you. But I'm just giving you an idea. If they say draw isometric using isometric scale. So what you need to do? 30 degree. 45 degree. So you draw two angles. Then on this 45 degree line, you mark 10, 10 mm, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, write 0, 10, 20, how we write in scale, that way. And you draw vertical line. And this is also 10, and this you divide into 10 parts, but this will be very messy, like 1, 1 millimeter. 
So this you need to draw. So, the, so this is called isometric scale. And if they say draw using isometric scale, let's say if they've given you one sum. So when they will ask you using isometric scale, your isometric will be very simple. Let's say this way, 50, 10, 30. Now what I have to do? I have to mark 50, right? So I won't be using this 0 to 50 original. What I'll be using? I'll be using this on 30 degree line, 0 to 50. This distance I will use. I will take that distance and I will cut. So of course it will be less than 50. It won't be it won't be 50. All of you got this? See, this is original distance, 0 to 50. So we are not taking that. We are taking this 0 to 50. And I'm going to cut it like this. Then we have 10. So this is 10. So I will use from here to here, this distance. See, I'll use this distance. That I'll cut. So it will be less than 10. Then 30. 0 to 30. So I won't be using this 30. I will be using this 30. 30 star I'm doing. So you'll remember. So what will happen? When you use isometric scale, your diagram will reduce. Otherwise, originally, it was this. But now it has reduced. It has reduced by 20%. So that's why we use isometric scale. Normally, they will ask you isometric view only. What we normally draw. But there is something called ISO projection. Whenever they write ISO projection, you have to use isometric scale. So when I was your age, how I used to remember? Isometric view. Isometric projection. So what I used to do? Oh, view. Four letter. So come, come work. That means you have to do it directly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. More work. That means I have to do scales and I have to do it like this. Because earlier I was not, when, when I was young, I didn't know the difference. So this is how I used to by heart. So I'm just giving you, just in case, if you forget in the exam, you just write the name, isometric view and isometric projection. So if they say isometric view, normal how we do it, directly same dimension. But if they say isometric projection, you take the uh, you take the original uh, dimension on 45 degrees. See. And you draw 30 degree. And you cut 50 on it. And draw vertical line. So whatever distance you get, that is 50. That you use over here. It will be less. Approximately, approximately this distance would be how much? You know that? 50 into 0.8. This distance will be 10 into 0.8. This distance is 30 into 0.8. So there are few teachers, they will say directly multiply with 0.8 and do it. So if you want to do it that way, you can do that way also. But this scale you need to draw. Okay. So this is for isometric. Now, let's do section orthography. What all we should keep? One second. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have now paid Zoom, so it will get over after 10 minutes. So then again, I'll, I'll ask you to join the meeting. So then we have a uh, section ortho. So in se section ortho, what is important? Layout is important. Now, many a times, if you have seen that this is your sum, and I'll ask you to draw a front view, top view, and right-hand side view. And many a times, you'll draw front view here, top view here, and then only you realize, oh, there is no place for side view. This will happen to you. So to avoid that, what you do before starting out the sum, find out length, width, and height, and draw layout. In the sense, on your paper, you draw, oh, it is like this. So then, or it is like this, however it comes. So that you need to see and then you should start your paper. Oh, I need to leave a gap over here. This way. So you leave gap. At times it, uh, it happens that we are doing it in third angle, right? 
so so we'll start front view top view and for side view we don't have place so this thing will happen so to make sure if you are doing section orthographic or if you are doing missing view then layout is must first you draw layout you should know where you are drawing what okay then correct method whether it is a first angle method or third angle method that you need to clarify all of you know first angle first angle starts with f so front view up top view down third angle starts with t so top view up front view down this is how i remember first angle third angle then side view in a b c d f comes pehle right the f comes and then t comes so the side view will come next to f this is what i believe okay this way you take 45 got it but now with side view so whatever stuff you are doing it for the first time and third time so which time you you think that you will get the uh, correct answer third time right so in third time right hand side you will be on right side left hand side you will be on left side but in first angle if you're doing something for the first time it will be wrong i'm just assuming so left hand side you will be on right side and right hand side you will be on left side so this you should know first angle third angle difference i hope this is clear first angle starts with f and right? f i r s t so that's why front view is up third angle starts with t that's why t is up so this way you can remember then labeling labeling is very important when you draw the sum you have to write front view top view and if it is cutting one sec i'll just do left hand side view please you write full form that will be great you have to show cutting plane line so when you show cutting plane line this becomes sectional front view right this becomes sectional front view remember that so the cut, cutting plane we need to show that is for one mark then we need to do dimensions that is for two marks see remember labeling is for three marks dimension is for two marks cutting plane line this line is for one mark so you are getting six marks as it is box will carry two four marks this box four to six marks let's say five marks so if you if you see somewhere around 11 marks you're getting out of 26 only for this got it so you should not leave this in the sense you know all these things are very important dimensions labeling uh, cutting plane line you know and this layout is very very important so make sure that you do it properly so this is a section of solids oh sorry this is a section orthography now solids solids and section of solids so solids we have see now in solids we have type 1 type 2 and type 3 so those who have done solids they know what is type 1 type 1 is like basic diagram front view top view and they'll ask you to draw development that is type 1 it can be prism the cylinder right pyramid and cone so i'll just revise the development of this pyramid is how much 2 pi r in this case in this case when you're doing development what we are doing we are taking this length and we are rotating we project up and you get true length then you draw one vertical line, mark true length, and you rotate one, two, three, four. Right? Cone. Cone we know. Cone angle is theta. In a today's paper only we had na? theta is equal to 180 into d upon L. So this is what we draw. So this is type one. So out of this four 
kind of type one sum will come. What do you mean by type two? Type two may you have sums like this, and the axis is inclined, and then what you get, right? Where axis inclination is there, so type two is axis inclined. Type one is where axis is perpendicular and type 3 is auxiliary is this only but shortcut see this so if you see it is this way so it's the same answer only thing this step is not there so it's a shortcut so in su in such kind of type 3 sums they will draw two views and they will give you right so you need to study that way so in this what is important dimensions are important whatever the height length labeling is important top view front view development right all this is important this axis so axis inclination here also this inclination all these things are important so don't ignore all these things then you have section of solids so in, in section of solids also let's say if they give you one sum like this, right? And if there is a cut, cutting plane line, right? So those, this, uh, this, uh, cut, cut, uh, this is front view, this is top view, and this is side view, and this is development, and this is auxiliary. Let's say if you don't know this, section part still if you know this much you will get half of these marks very easily out of third out of 26 you will get 13 very easily then the question is okay with vis-a-vis -vis this what this will change this will become sectional top view this will become sectional side view here there will be a cut so this is development auxiliary will be like this got it auxiliary top view development so in a section of solids all these labelings dimension axis the this uh, cutting plane line all these lines are very important so you need to be uh, aware about this if you are attempting this sum let's say if something goes wrong and if you don't recollect what to do at least draw the basic shape front view top view side view development auxiliary and then you think right so you will get it now i need to tell you for five ten minutes but now my time is over so what i'll do i will generate another meet Malab same on same id you come but you come after five minutes right because uh, i have done the recording so it will take time to uh, to come to con to convert that uh, recording into a, into a video so give me uh, 10 minutes at sharp four, we will start with the another meeting. Okay. Thank you. I will end this meeting.